Dave Gonzalez, two people thought to be responsible for the death of three-year-old Major Sutton may have killed before. Police believe two of the three people charged with the killing may be connected to another violent murder earlier in the year. Reporter Kyle Harvey joins us now with the latest on this. Kyle? Well, Dave Rochelle, that other murder killed an adult, injured another, but narrowly missed harming two young children. Police say the attackers in that crime had the same M.O. as the people who killed Sutton. A police report included in the case file says it was the two men, 21-year-old Tyrone Johnson and 19-year-old David Palms, who pulled the triggers in the November attack on Pershing Street that killed three-year-old Major Sutton. Investigators believe 29-year-old Maisha Dale was their getaway driver. We spoke to Johnson and Palms in jail. They each deny their involvement. I just want the public to know that I'm innocent and that I did not kill Major Sutton and that I feel sorry for the mother of Major Sutton. They sitting up here telling me that just because of my tattoos and where I'm from, that I have something to do with the shootings out of the current. That is not the case. The whole thing, police say, was gang related. Sutton's mother was pregnant at the time, living with and carrying the child of a rival gang member who was the likely target of the attack. But he wasn't home when the attackers kicked in their front door. Police write in their report that Johnson and Palms are suspects in another shooting nearly a year ago on Q Street. That one killed 18-year-old DeLeon Trinell Williams. Police at the time said he was shot while lying in bed with his girlfriend and six-month-old child. His girlfriend was injured, but miraculously the baby was not. Though suspected, neither Johnson nor Palms have been charged officially with that crime. Police say they've poked holes in all three suspects' alibis on the night that Sutton was killed and that they recorded Johnson's phone calls in jail. That he told unknown female callers that he is going to, quote, take a life sentence and that, quote, I pulled that trigger. There were a lot of details in this police report. If you're interested in this case, we've got a much longer written story available now on our website, bakersfieldnow.com. Live in studio, Kyle Harvey. I